base hit. Polanco has a leadoff single. Tigers have their second hit of the game now. And the Tigers have gotten some better swings against Sowers the last couple of innings, although they're not really beating him up. Yeah, but the two hits they have gotten have gone to the pull field because they're laying off those fastballs away, which is kind of forcing Sowers into throwing more hittable pitches. A little bit more contact being made. Here's Ordonez. Maglio is 0 for 2, ground ball and a fly ball. Strike one on Ordonez, batting in the free slot. Carlos Guillen getting the night off. And he has been uh, able only to hit left handed, so with Lefty out there tonight, Maglio is inserted back in the lineup with Tim's the DH. You're saying that uh, perhaps Guillen is getting really close to returning to play defense or having the ability to play defense. He's still not all that comfortable batting right-handed, but he may be returning to the field sometime soon. Ground ball left side. It's through. Back-to-back -back singles for the Tigers here in the sixth, and that is their third hit. So for the second straight inning, the Tigers get the first two men on. Now they've got the big guys coming up. Third time around the batting order, 471 batting average against Sowers, and uh, they are in the third time around. There's Cabrera. Fly ball on the ground out. We we're talking about how the Indians, because of the numbers that you just saw, we we're thinking about making him a long relief pitcher. But a guy that uh, showed as much promise, a number one pick. Awfully tough to slot a guy like that in long relief at the big league level, but anyway, you can help your ball club. He was really good a couple of years ago, the second half of the season in his rookie year. Uh, he won a ton of games, six straight to be exact. In the rotation that following year, 07, and struggled and really has struggled as a starter since coming on the scene the second half of the 2000.